Salutations, this is Grim Devel, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Caves of Cud. We are now in version 2020467. There was another free feature Friday update. Um, a bunch of stuff in there of note. Um, quests that you can find that give you that tell you about uh, legendary items will now give you the location of the site of them and also or like tell you where it is and also tell you what floor it's on, which I think will be very helpful. Uh, although it still doesn't, like, necessarily give you the location of the map or something. I don't remember. But um, some cool stuff. Uh, we're going to continue. Shwish Rock, Level 19. Mutated Human Pilgrim. Plant Pilgrim. Right. We are at the 60 stilt. Um, and we're going to do some shopping this episode. I also fixed my uh, earbuds so that I, tr I basically, to record this, I turned off touch control so I can adjust my earbuds. Uh, freely. Hey, Apothecary, you got anything for us? Luminous Horse Rooms, we can get those ourselves. Yes, we can. Um, let's just go around to all the shops again. This is schematics? It is schematics. Um, like, we could... We could get Tinker. One. Transkinetic Cuffs. Uh, obviously, this is like a Tinker 3 thing, but what do you... What do these do? I don't know what these do, but they sound cool. Maybe they just give you telekinesis kind of thing. I feel like I always do Tinker stuff, and I just kind of, like, don't want... Like, I feel like I shouldn't have to every time I play this game. It's a fun thing. Uh, Jewel Encrusted... Have we seen this before? Oh, yeah, we a new Reshef Clue. Um... When traveling near Bethesda Souza, Reshef lost control of his chariot and drove it off a cliff. Luckily, a local physician named Rebecca came to his rescue. Moved by her kindness, Reshef enrolled at a nearby hospice as her apprentice. Lovely. This is worth a ton because it's jewel encrusted also. Um, cloaks. Okay. Nothing that special. All right, let's go this way. Um, ingredients I don't think we care about. What is this? Right, right, right. Sad Amos. Apples. Um, yeah, nothing we care about here. I'll check out the shoes. Meh. Meh. And then more food. What you got? Is there a recipe that we care about? We know two recipes, including the porridge. Um, right, and pickled mushrooms. That's right. Last time we were here, we were looking for pickled mushrooms. And we found, like, one. We have a lot of money. We have a lot of wealth books uh you are not the bookseller you are the bookseller the mimic and the mad pole is it worth getting these things just for the experience like maybe maybe um especially these yellow ones i think they're worth more xp Uh, you know what? Let's try it with one. Let's buy this one. Oh, I never looked up ontological anger. I should do that. Um, what do we want to get rid of here? Uh, let's sell the counterweighted carbide battle axe. I think. Great. All right, so we have that book now, uh, and we can see if we how much XP we get for it. Uh, more books. I don't know where the shoe seller is, but she ain't here. The book binder. What if I just rest till morning? Okay, bask. Where are the merchants? There's someone. 
Shoemaker. Painted chain boots. Uh, cool. Tapar circuit board quadrangle. And a quest to... Ooh, a quest to recover boundless Antidate's boon. Uh, let me look at that again. While traveling through the circuit board, worshipping Republic of Tapar, Antidate is stopped at a market in New Malil. At an obscure shop, he purchased a boundless mask and named it Boundless uh, Antidate's... Uh, <laughs> Antidate's boon. Then he went to a nearby tavern and lost the artifact to a local thief. He cursed the tavern and left Numalil. Uh-huh. And how about these sandals? Um, Oradoc cemented her friendship with astrologist by marrying Arapar. And a ceremony that lasted a full year. Cool. Um, so that was worthwhile seeing those clues. All right. Uh, armor shop. Anything? Yeah, we already knew that. Uh, is there anything we want? No, nothing that amazing here. Okay. Yeah, don't care about any of this. What's up, wet sewage eel? I like how this wet sewage eel was hired as a guard and it just has to sit outside because that's where the water is. Not a very effective guard, sorry. Full of right boots. Um, I think we had our chance to pick some of those up and we decided not to. They're heavy. That's the thing. These things are always heavy. 35 pounds. Um, looking for pickled mushrooms, not seeing them. Okay. And then here we have, uh, you sell liquids, painted glass bottle. I feel like we've seen this. Oh no, it's something new about Reshef. On a starry evening, a babe was found swaddled with its mouth full of circuits by a group of Beatles in Red Rock. In Red Rock. They took him into their fold and fostered him. He became known as Reshef, the Coiled Lamb of Beetles. Neat. Neat. This is... Oh. Pickled mushrooms. Two servings. I'll take them. Soul curd. Where do you get soul curd? It's regen. Regen is fine. Um, and I'll just, uh, you can just take water. Okay, cool. Good. This gutsmonger here, what do you have? Anything fun? Um, no, not for us. Not for us. Okay, so n we didn't, there wasn't a lot that made sense for us to buy here, but... We did get a book, and let's see how much XP we get for that book. A hundred. Well, that is disappointing. That was not worth it, but it was a good experiment. Uh, and we got a couple of clues about Reshef. What do you have? Wine. Uh, two secrets about Reshef. 11,000 XP. That was worth it. All right, so I guess we're going to go back and try to fight um, Mammoth Soul Drinker. Actually, maybe we go back. Let's use our... Um, hmm. I was going to say let's warp back to our base town and put stuff away. Yeah, let's do that. I want to get rid of weight. Um, Uh, replace this with the fidget cell. That's fine. Activate it. Do you have anything? Anything worthwhile? Uh, I'll take the salve injectors. Two of those. Uh, we can get rid of these crocosins now, I think. No, I'm going to save them. Um, oh, yeah, we're also... We also have I, the full right boots. We have boots that give us additional movement speed, which I quite like, actually. Um, uh, 
anything else we want to... Uh, so 87 drams. I kind of want to keep this wrist blade in case we end up getting any short blades. Um, this we can sell. That'll do it. Great. Okay, let's put some stuff in our chest. Um, mm-hmm. Our rocket skates are here. All right, I think we're going to store a bunch of things here. Let's put the crocosons in here. I'm going to keep the Nullworm skull on me. The polarized goggles will keep on me. I don't care about the compass bracelets. But you know what? I'm going to look up this ontological anchor. I'm going to actually just like... Um, I tabbed out, and I'm looking it up. Uh, it is a bracelet that projects a normality field in the vicinity of the object when dropped. Um, suppressing reality, distorting effects like teleportation, time dilation, and space-time vortices. When equipped, it will instead only affect the wearer. Uh, it has a chance to be carried by Knights of the Buddhist Templar. So that could be really important if all of a sudden there's a space-time vortex, and we just pop that on and we'll be fine all right so this stuff like all this stuff is valuable anything that doesn't weigh a ton and is worth a ton i'm keeping um none of the stuff uh weighs a lot we'll keep this here uh, I guess I'll keep Wired Equine's Woe on me. Oh, yeah, there was something else about Wired Equine's Woe I wanted to talk about. Um, but just a minute. There's really... There's really not much I want to, like, leave. All right, well... There we go. Let me look at that skin suit. It's only two pounds. Yeah, no, we're gonna get rid of this. Um, I mean, wait, get rid of it. We can store that here. Um, okay. Uh, I realized... So, our, um... Wired Equine's Woe gives us um, electrical generation. And I realized something. Um, I was watching back something, and, and something I was looking at said that if you have power on the local lattice, it does something else. Maybe it was one of our... Oh, was it a point defense drone? Yeah. Um, can be fired while adjacent to multiple enemies without risk of getting of the shot going wild. Compute power on the local lattice increases this item's effectiveness. And I thought maybe that might mean that the electrical generation from Equine's Woe might help that, but I, I do think that's different. I don't know what that's talking about. Um, but this is of note, though, like, our point defense drone has been very, very valuable for us defensively. Um, but I think I kind of forget that this thing is, like, also an offensive weapon. Can be fired while adjacent to multiple enemies. Um, I'm not exactly sure how to use that. I don't know how to use that. I just don't know how to use it. If I fire... Oh. Um, if I hit F, you, the top, um, I can mark target, multiply. Um, mark target, multiply. No, I'm, I'm aiming at myself here. I marked myself. Um one suppressive fire oh multiply is like uh the keypad multiply maybe no i don't know oh whoops i just fired at myself i think i'm this is 
stupid. Can I just leave? Can I just like wait 20 turns? How do I how do I unmark myself? Um mark target. Right there. I can't unmark myself, it looks like. Um yeah, alright, whatever. I'm marked. This is not great. Um fly. Let's leave. And I was... Uh, it would be nice to, like, find more artifacts. Although I'm realizing that, like, uh, maybe Equine's Woe doesn't make sense for us to carry anymore. It says wired. Equine's Woe. Um, I... I guess I'll carry. It's worth a ton, too. That's the other thing. All right, if I look on the world map and I look at our quests or a journal and go to historic sites, which is the one we just found out about. All right, maybe not. I want to find um, where we just heard about where that item was. And I don't remember. Is it an historic site? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This one. The Tapper Circuit Board Quadrangle. Parasang east of the Eid Freehold. Where is that? Map pin. Oh. Where? Okay, it's, it's far away. It's over to the right. Very far. Um... I'm wondering if it might be worth just exploring a little bit and trying to find some other artifacts in the general area. Um, and to that, maybe we just walk to Mammon Soul Drinker? Well, we can fly to Mammon Soul Drinker. And if we find... Oh, we get lost. I was going to say, if we find ruins, we can explore them. We're still marking ourselves. I need to mark a, an enemy. Oh, there we go. Regained our bearings. There's an enemy. Um, mark. There. Great. Crocodile's marked. Alright. Fly. Leave. Towards Mammon Soul Drinker. Uh, what's here? If you bite him, rectangle. Mm-hmm. Oh. Regaining our bearings again. These are just snap jaws. The chameleon. It'll all be very easy. I should bask. Well, it's sundown. I don't think we can bask. Um, there's that too. There's the fact that there are hostiles nearby. Yeah, no sunlight. But we can eat. Uh, choose ingredients. Um... Let's use some meat, maybe? Crip Ferret's face. Um, no, let's use Lignan and Starch since it's nighttime. Cool. All right, bearings regained. We're not wielding Equine's Woe, so I'm not worried about all these horses attacking us. Okay. All right, fly. Let's kill Mammon Soul Drinker. I think it was here we were left last left off. I think it was three. Uh, I'm running a little too quickly here. Um, all right, run away. Back up. Back up. Whoops. All right, I'm going to land. Uh-huh. I'm going to run back. Oh, gosh. Um, I'm going to fly. 
this way. And then we're going to burgeon. <laughs> I'm going to fire at this, uh, this guy. Well, I should mark him, actually, before I do that. Oh, gosh. Flaming Livid Creeper. Beats up the flames with its tendrils. They are tendrils. Oh. Gotta run. Run away towards my friends here. Fire. Excellent. Excellent. Um, I can't bask, right? I will land, I think. Um, I might need to vim this guy. Yep, let's vim. Uh, is it control V? Yeah. Dead. Okay. That wasn't great. Sturdy elastine skin suit. Um, that's okay. I'll take the carbide dagger. We'll disassemble this. Oh, what is here? Portable beehive. That is too heavy, but the obsidian Chris I will take. Uh, we don't really need the honey. We don't need any of that. Can I disassemble it? No. Um, can I get through here? Yeah, that's what I wanted. I wanted friends. Um, can't pass. Bask? Yeah, there's Bask. All right, we're looking for the river. Oh, I didn't mean to. I actually wanted to land. I thought it was already flying. A little canteen. I'll take that. Guys are burgeoning all over the place. Lots of fun. We back up. Oh, I didn't even realize that this thing was. I thought it was just pink colored. Okay, Naftali don't like us less. Uh oh, this is not good. Robots despise us. That's not great. But the Cult of Orapor likes us a little better. Mysterious Strangers like us a little better. All right. Ooh. All right, some interesting things here. Um, let me kill things. Uh, and there's another pink one. This one, disliked by Merchant's Guild, but loved by Naftalian robots. Robots are just going to hate us. There's not much I can do about that. Um, we're just going to let all these things come to us. And yeah, we're going to, our reputation with robots is going to decrease even more. This thing's already lightly damaged. Damage. Okay, it's dead. Merchant Guild likes us more. Oh, we can ins we can name our Fullerite Aegis. Uh, yeah, do it. Uh, oh, we can name it a name a random name from the culture of the thing we just killed. No, we're not gonna do that. You know, but maybe we will do a random name from our own culture. We didn't do that last time. Let's do that. Kalomen. Um, but we will keep doing things like. Le Excuse me, leafy? Or at least like like nectar works. Anything planty. Um, anything planty. Um flowery. There's forest. 
We did Leafy last time, although we no longer have that item. Let's do Leafy again. Kaloman. Okay. All right, let's look at all this stuff. We've got a painted spike steel gauntlets. I think we're just using spike steel gauntlets right now, so this should be better. Let's take a look at it. It's about Darahim, the appointed a corrupt administrator as, minis as minister of the clock-worshipping theocracy of Kashur. He mandated the practice of taking measurements in Darahim's name. Cool. So equip that instead of our normal ones. Engraved feathered chainmail. Um. Oh no, not that. It's about Darahim, uh, Darahim Quillborn, Amareth Quill, wife of Kakaka, died of natural causes. We already knew that. Um, no, but we've got a uh, Puma Kitan vest. Um, so we're not going to take that. Otherwise, it would be good. Uh, painted Canterweed. Uh, so this is painted. Let's take a look. It's about Oradoct, uh, sometime in 4899, after a bout of scurvy. The Sultan of Gut abdicated the throne because of Ordok's reputation for murdering someone by inventing and releasing clockwork beetles. I think we already knew that, too. Yeah, we did. How about this one? Yeah, we already knew that. Uh, this chain pistol. It's only seven pounds, and it might be worth a bunch. So I guess I'll take it. We can always disassemble it, if that's what makes sense. What is a yurt, Matt? I don't think it's very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. A little bit of loot. I guess. Um, whoops. Just kind of looking around at what other people may have dropped. Jewel Encrusted Club. Uh, no, it's still not going to be worth barely anything. Um, so we're looking for where we left off. Hey, we discovered Mammon Soul Drinker's Lair. I didn't think we were going to just come across Mammon Soul Drinker. Hopefully our Fugue people will stick around for a little bit. Maybe create some other burgeons for us. All right. I'm going to fly. Where are you, Mammon? Mam and Soul Drinker is here somewhere. I just have to be careful not to get adjacent to Mammon. Wherever Mammon is. Okay. Mammon may be fighting our clones. What are you fighting? Oh. Why are you guys fighting each other? Okay. Uh, our, I think our fugues may have disappeared. Um, let's burgeon. Oh, um, there? Uh, I don't... Yeah, let's back up. Burgeon. There. All right, that was decent. Uh, I am hurt. More hurt than I want to be. All right, you're badly wounded. You're also being hurt by a friend. Ow, okay. Uh, let's Vim you. I was hoping to use Vim on... Okay, you're dead. Uh, what did you drop? Chain boots? Yeah, nothing that great. Let's heal here. Okay. This thing should just kill you. Alright, Mammon is still here somewhere. Uh, this is an aloe porta. Good. 
good. Take those slugs. Let's disassemble this. Take these slugs. Do want to be very careful here. Um, let's bask again. Why not? Just in case. Let's fly. Just to fly above these trees. Right. Ooh. All right, Spurgeon. Wait. All right, you. Did you just kill yourself? Oh, whoops. All right, point defense drone is working here, but. Yeah, it gets around it. Okay. Weird artifact destroyed. Glowpad gains a level, gains a level. Uh, all right, I'm not exactly sure what just happened there. Um, are these hostile? Yeah. Come get me. Come get me. Yeah. Okay. Glowpad gains a level. What's happening? Are you... Giant dragonfly is biting me. Alright, fly. Wait. It said you're hostile? I'm gonna fire at you, I guess? I don't know what's going on. Alright. The dragonfly died. Alright. I'm just gonna let the Daka kill those things. Uh... Plus one agility with the lasting gloves, but we're whatever. I'll take them. They're they only weigh one. Okay. Still haven't seen Mammon. This dragonfly is all mad at me. I guess I probably had a plant that. Um, hurt them. Which is fair enough. Alright, come on. Kill the dragonfly, please. Dragonfly should not be this tough. Okay. I'm, ner I'm still very nervous here. We did take a lot of damage from that one goat folk. Just really don't want to get Accidentally pinned by Mammon. Um, okay. Alright, we found Mammon. And we gained a level. That's nice. Okay, good. Mammon's a little far away gonna burgeon right over there all right we did get on fire but we're in water so not a big deal I'm just gonna let mammon deal with whatever we laid out over there and run back uh, we did gain a level got three mutation points which I guess we should use um, yeah always use it on burgeoning when we can Uh, more powerful plant summoned. Cooldown will be five rounds. Amazing. All right, so now, um, next rank does not cool down anymore. But still, being able to make these every five rounds is wild. Um, we could do Siphon Vim, but I feel like it's already ten, uh, hit points per thing. So I think we just go for regen and photosynthetic skin. Let's do it. Okay. Uh, 159 skill points. Anything else we want to do? Spicer. Which is up to three ingredients. Carbide Chef. 
Oh, yeah. When you gain a level... Ooh. It's very interesting, Carbide Chef. We could do that. Um, berate is a possibility. Could do more shield stuff. Um, this is activated. I'd rather do some... Yeah, I'd rather save up and get death blocking or swift blocking that are passive. I think death blocking, maybe. Sounds good. I mean, they're... You can get both. And there's Tinker. One. Wilderness lore. Meh. I've never taken wilderness lore. It's interesting that, like, some of them take more intelligence than others. Ruins. Yeah, that's interesting. To do it for ruins. Um... Okay. And we could finally, like, do short blades or something, but I'd rather wait till we get, like, a really cool artifact that we want to keep. There's tactics. Mm hmm. Actually, this could be really important for us. I think we should get this. I think we got it for our first character. Okay. It was only 50. All right, ma'am and soul drinker. All right, there you are. Virgin again. Uh, I will also mark you. And fire, I guess? Um, two turns before I can use burgeoning again. Oh, whoops. Virgin. Ooh, I really want to jump into the aloe uh, fugues, and I'm going to. Oh, ho, ho. okay, all right, everything just got wild. All right, I'm running back. All right, Mammon's dead. This game. All right, uh, there is fire right by where Mammon died. So I would like to get over there. There's still a lot of chaos. All right, I took stuff. Greased steel boots. What does grease do? You may walk freely over webs. Right, we're taking these. Um, I don't think I care about either of these things. We took the Amaranthine Prison, which was the quest. All right, we're running back. Um. There's so much chaos that the game is actually slowed down immensely here. Which is hilarious. Um, like, every turn is taking a long time. I'm just gonna step over, like, water in case, like, fire goes nuts here. Alright, I'm in water now. I'm just gonna wait 20 turns. At a time. I hear aloe fugues being injured. That's okay. I'm just gonna wait till all of my fugues start disappearing. Yeah, they're still going nuts here. And, uh, you know, hopefully nothing valuable is burning, but we keep hearing things get injured, and so let's, let's leave the map. Wait here, 20 turns. Wait more. Virgin again. Okay, not Virgin, a uh, Basque. Okay. Things are calmer here now. Still, I kind of want all my fuse to disappear. Um, I don't want them to step in fugues of their own. Fugue, uh, aloe fugues of their own. Rock goat meat, sure. Um, I'm butchering. 
Oh, well, I didn't mean to take that corpse. Drop. A lot of ashes around here. A bleach corpse. Okay. All right, now we're going to search the rest of the town. Hopefully there aren't any more goat folk around here. I don't think there should be. Um, what do we have? Ooh, pickled mushrooms. Hey, excellent. And what is this? Just corpses. So yeah, that was maybe... I mean, that was obviously extremely chaotic but very effective at getting rid of Mammon Soul Drinker very quickly without putting ourselves in much danger. Except, like, the danger of our own fugued, burgeoning clones. Um, which is wild. Just wild. Okay, I guess auto-explore. What is this? Gofo corpse. Alright, I guess we go back to Kiyokikiya. Uh, let's go north one, because I do want to see if we can't find where we left, where, like, the last map that we were at was, where we fought all the Pudas Templar. I do want to find that. If we can? If map generation works that way? Um, I guess left. Did I see something up here? Oh, it's a gorilla. But I don't really want to fight more goat folk either, so... This way? Oh! Let's, let's run back. I'm fighting those things. Okay. We are getting less experience from goat folk now. All right. Um, I think we're going to just fly and go back to... Okay, we smell roasted boar. Oh, we discovered Cloven Deep, a goat folk village. All right. There might be some loot here. Let's check it out. With burgeoning every five turns, again, ridiculous. This is going to be interesting. We're still flying. Let's unfly. Okay. Up. Oh. <laughs> Excellent. And <laughs> we'll just come around the side. Oh, I. Uh, all these irritable palms. I guess I can go down? Uh, oh, we've been here before. And then up. And now I can get a weird artifact. Oh, and a pneumatic jackhammer. I don't think I care about it. It weighs a lot. I mean, it can be useful to get through walls and stuff. But it's just so heavy. And I'm just going to disassemble it, I think. Okay. All right. Any more goat folk? Strange tubes. A chain gun. Um, I think this counts as a heavy weapon. Yeah, so we, we don't have skill in that. And it weighs a ton. We are going to disassemble it. I'll take the skull conjecture, and I will disassemble this. Okay. And I think that's pretty much the village, it looks like. I don't think there's anything else. Oh, never mind. Um, there still might not be anything over there. Wait for that guy to approach us. Uh, can I bask? Not with hostiles. What? Who hit us? Attack. All right, let's vim you. Okay. 
There are torches up this way, so maybe there is another building. No, I don't think so. They just put torches all around. All right, fly again, leave, and go to Kiyokukiya. And let's return the Amaranth Prism to Warden Indrix. Where are you? Are you in here? What is all, what is this stuff? Weathered wood. Where'd you go, Warden? Where is the Warden? Warden. All right, I'm going to auto explore and I'll stop when I see him. He shouldn't be that hard to notice. He's a big blue goat folk. Eh. Warden? Where are you, Warden? Um. Huh. Where did Warden Indrex go? Who gave us the quest? And who we, to whom we need to return the prism? Why are you not here? Warden. Um. I don't know. Warden. Mayor, where's the, where's the warden? Uh, I think we could... Oh, there you are. I don't know where you came from, but there you are. Okay, yes, Mammon is dead. I possess the prism. All right. Uh, we could fight Warden Indrex, uh, but I don't think... I think it is dangerous to use. Um, we will hand over the prism. And we get a reward. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What do we want? All right. Um, so here we kind of need to decide. Well, Visage might be nice. So the Visage goes over your face, right? So we wouldn't be able to get the plus two ego from the ferret face. Um, but if memory serves, Visage is pretty good. Uh, I'm looking it up right now. Visage. Um... It's a Tinker 2 item. It does go over the face. Uh, when worn, powered, and booted up provides bioscanning, text scanning, and structural scanning. That is really nice. That is really nice. Um, what does the risk calculator do? Uh, wrist calc. Um, it grants a plus 2 bonus to artifact examination. That's it? Is that all it does? Yeah, it, it's a Tinker 2 thing. Oh, when equipped and powered, provides 10 units of compute power to the local lattice. Oh, so that actually would give a more bonus to our point defense drone. It also provides light in radius 2, uh, which is not a lot of light. Um, and, it, and then it grants a bonus to identifying artifacts, as if your intelligence score were increased by 2. Okay. Uh, it does require energy. Ten units of compute power. I need to look up compute power. Um, yeah, and it's just listing a bunch of items. Which I think should also include point defense stone. Yeah, it does. Let me look at point defense stone real quick. I know all I'm doing is like reading the internet while I'm recording here. But I can't, we can't just like back out of this. So we need to make a choice. Um, this episode's also been going a little long, so all these episodes are going long. Um, so when powered, equipped, and booted up, the point defense drone has a chance to shoot down, etc. Um, the chance that it will attempt to shoot down an incoming projectile depends on the type of projectile and whether the point defense drone is overloaded. Each time that a hostile projectile moves one tile on its trajectory, 
it has a chance to notice it and begin targeting it. After the point defense drone has noticed a projectile and begins targeting it, it will fire on the projectile with a laser in an attempt to destroy it. It's subject, the laser is subject to normal missile weapon accuracy rules. Okay. But I guess having the risk calc would help it. And then there's the vibro. Oh, that's a data disc for a vibro dagger, not an actual vibro dagger. None of these weapons, I think, are as good as our crystal dagger. So I think we either take the wrist calc or we take visage. And the only reason I am a little wary about visage is we already have something that gives us more ego, plus two ego on our face, and that is valuable for our skills. But does it also give night vision? That actually could be really important. Um, let me look that up again. I don't know if it does um i don't think so i don't think it does it just gives you so i think all it really does is show you what the hit points of everything are i know this seems weird but i think i'm gonna take the wrist calc i mean i think visage might be the most valuable thing um I think I'm going to take the risk calc, which will make our point defense drone, which has been very, very valuable for us. Oh, nice. Wardens like us more. Um, even more valuable. Um, unlike Wired Equineswell, which does not do that. Right. Uh, all right. So what would that be? A tool? A trinket? Um, a miscellaneous? Where is the thing that we just got? Armor? We can drop these. Okay, here. Um, let's remove the cell and put it in a solar cell. That's fine. And then equip it. Um, do we even need the buckler? Does it even help us if we've got the other shield i don't know um we don't really the wristband isn't super useful unless we're in a very specific situation in which case we can just equip the wristband okay you know what the ontological anchor let's replace that cell too um and we should probably put in no, I think we will need to put in a cell, like... Uh, this is drained, huh? Replace that fidget cell. And I think... I guess for the time being, let's put a fidget cell on here. Okay. Okay. All right, um, point defense drone, uh, the risk calc, very good, it's warming up, eight more rounds, I don't know if 10 points to the local mm -hmm. lattice, all right, it should be equipped now, is a lot, but we've got it now, um, and the light radius is good. In theory, it would be okay to remove the miner's helmet now and get something else. Um, which is good, because this miner's helmet is pretty basic. Not that we have a replacement for it right now, but there we go. Okay, we better put in a cut. I'm not sure what we're going to do next, but um, we'll think about it. I enjoyed playing with you today, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.